today I have the privilege of speaking with Mike Druhan from Medics Health. How are you today, Mike? Great, Trace. Mike, I know you're trying to make a real difference in the world. Can you tell those out there at Investor Intel Land who may not be familiar with Medics Health what your objective is, please? Yeah, so our objective is to be able to get dermatological service into a patient within 72 hours. And right now, the wait times to get into a dermatologist can be anywhere from six months, depending on which geographic location you're in, to two years. People are dying because they can't get service. It's ridiculous. We can, re we can do that same service in 72 hours. So, Mike, you told me once that there was a real discrepancy between the numbers in Quebec around skin cancer testing. Do you remember that conversation? And can you tell our audience a little bit more about this? Yeah, so what we looked at was the general population in Canada and the percentage of population of Quebec. So Quebec represents about 21% of the Canadian population, but it was a much higher incidence of skin cancer deaths in, in Quebec. A little bit of that's behavioral with the people in Quebec, uh, just in terms of outside and sun and pools and that sort of thing in the southern tip of Quebec being, you know, uh, southern Florida. But the other side of it is just the access to the healthcare around dermatology. So we've been, it's one of those things not at me a bit, Tracy. So we're happy to say we're really starting to open up in our Quebec market now. And so it'll be easier for people to get screened and therefore early detection and a lot, a lot, you know, a lot lower risk of uh, dying of skin cancer. We're pretty excited about the Quebec market. So Mike, um, it's my understanding that as a med tech company, you had a new kind of systems integration uh, process that took a little bit of time to get set up for the sales processes. Would that be a fair point? Yeah, I think it's a fair point. And I, I think we're, we're now at the point where we understand what our customer looks like, how to go in and get a, a quick turnaround in terms of the deployment of the technology. Yeah, we're there now. We're there now. I think, I think you've got a handle on it based on the series of news releases but I think it may take some talking through for investors out there to appreciate and reward you properly for this. So let's start with the most recent one. I thought the one on the Derm Secure Screening Services with Medicare Clinic looked very impressive. It looked like a systems integration deal for me. Can you talk to us about this deal? Right. So that's one of the legs of the, of the sort of the, one of the legs of the stool that we have. And that's a physician driven one. So that is just purely the physician saying, I represent 5,000 patients. This is an underserved community and we can't get them in for dermatological services in a timely fashion. Medics fits the bill perfectly. The other side that's interesting about it is there's a pharmacy attached to that, which allows them not only to do that for you know, melanomas, but other skin conditions as well that are inflammatory skin conditions that typically use topicals and pharmacology where they can get right in and get the right amount of tech or the, or the right uh, dosage and the right pharmacology to deal with things like eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, that sort of thing. So that's a really unique model for us. And we're looking to replicate that across the country as well. Pretty excited about that one. Mike, I think what I'm seeing as well with COVID-19, our entire medical infrastructure has changed changing. So you've also got a deal with Empower Clinics with Rexall, which looks fascinating to me. Can you give us kind of the highlights of that particular partnership? Yeah, we've been really fortunate with that. Steve McCauley and the group over at Empower, they have this real vision of putting clinics over the large Rexall uh, pharmacies and going into serve underserved areas. It really is a really unique model. So if, for example, in the Long Branch area, where we've just done the big opening one down there, that represents a 10,000 patient area that has certain services that are underserviced that, that, that you would hope you, know, you could get access to. And we're the ones that give them instant access to dermatology. And that's a really great win-win for both organizations. So we're really happy with that partnership. And as they continue to build out their clinics, we'll be in there with them uh, as one of their uh, select services. So that's been a great partnership. And that one, of course, has national ramifications for us. Well, Mike, love seeing the deal flow. You've got your distribu distribution in place. Please join us monthly so we can get an update and let's see Medex achieve effective market valuation. Thank you, Mike, so much for Medex Health. Once again, thanks, Tracy.